And we are back now with GMA on the lookout. And as summer travel season heats up, we are investigating just how secure you and your valuables are at a hotel. Check out what our hidden cameras uncovered and how you can avoid becoming a victim after you check in. Watch as this brazen thief walks into a hotel room last month as a couple is sleeping. Moments later, he flees. Police say he stole more than $4,000 worth of items. So how to prevent that from happening to you? To see how safe your belongings are during a hotel stay, we conduct an experiment. A guest arrives at a downtown Richmond, Virginia hotel. But this guest is actually a GMA producer. Approximately 20 minutes prior, with three undercover cameras rolling, safety and security expert Bill Stanton shows up at the same hotel, but he's not here to check in. I'm waiting, looking at his car, what watch he's wearing, the, the luggage he has. Stanton is playing the role of would-be thief. When I see an opening, that's when I approach, and that's when I hear the magic words. Uh, when WY I follow him right to his door. So now I have his name, now I have his door number. Armed with just these two pieces of information, Stanton is about to show us how vulnerable we can be during a hotel stay. The waiting game ends the very next morning while our producer goes to the gym to work out. Lo and behold, he comes with his workout outfit and he comes down to the lobby for a bottle of water. As far as I'm concerned, the clock to me to get in that room starts right now. Let's roll. I figure I got at least 30 minutes to do what I need to do. His plan, so bold it seems almost ridiculous. Stanton goes to the front desk and asks for housekeeping to clean our producer's room. A room 11, 1112 wing. Thank you. Stanton simply walks in as if it's his own room. He has our producer's permission. Otherwise, this could be the beginning of a crime. Hello. I am so sorry. Can you give me two minutes? It doesn't take long for me to find everything. Rolex. Right by the phone. And what is it? It's an expensive watch and a valet ticket to his car. Yes, I'm in room 1112. Can you please uh, bring up my car right now? We are just 15 minutes into our experiment. Our producer is working up quite a sweat. And Stanton, not so much. Now where's my car coming? It's coming right there. Ah, there we go. They ask for the ticket, which Stanton claims he doesn't have. But they look at the name tag on the stolen luggage, and off he goes. And it's as easy as that. Later that day, at a nearby hotel, Stanton tracks another GMA producer. Ferguson, F-E-R. So once again, right to the front desk, listening to the name room exchange. When our producer leaves the hotel, Stanton sees his opening, and our would-be thief springs into action, again pretending to be someone he's not. I'm in room 711. From a house phone, Stanton calls to have housekeeping sent to our producer's room. With undercover cameras rolling, he walks right in, but instead of letting housekeeping do their job, he sends them away. You're off the hook. I'm off the hook. You're off the hook. I'm going to jump in the shower. Now, with the room to himself, Stanton has his mind set on a bold and nearly unthinkable scenario. I'm in the room. I, lo I forgot the combo to the safe. Okay, I have him come and open it. Thank you so much. You heard right, a hotel room safe. And moments later, the gentleman from security arrives to help. All right, she's wide open for you. Perfect. As soon as that security guy is out, I'm dressed. I got his cash, I got his credit card, and I took his laptop. Oh, and by the way, I put it all in his luggage. 